Hi guys, welcome to another video. I thought I'd do a haul video um, from a fleet rubber stamp flea market at my local rubber stamp store. Well, it's not really local to me since it's a little ways out, but um, it's the only one that I know of around, you know, you know mom and pop around. So every year, two times a year, a Labor Day weekend and Memorial Day weekend, they um, have a flea market where a custom people can register for a table and to come and sell their stuff. So this year, I shared a table with a friend of mine, and I was selling some stuff, and she was selling hers, and when she was selling her stuff. She had, like, put everything out of the table, her stamps and other doodads, and people would make their own grab bags. She had, like, little bags for, like, $2 to fill up, and then bigger, ba little bigger bags for 5 and then bigger bags for 10 So, while people were looking at her stuff, you know, she had stamps on one side, and then, like, you know, other doodads on the other side. So while they were looking through the other stuff, this popped on top of a pile when they were looking and I was, my mouth dropped. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> and I picked it up and I had to have it. She charged me two bucks. So they're basically a buck a piece. There's seven gypsies, tissue, this one's maps, Paris, and kinds of good stuff. Sorry about the light. And this is architecture, again from 2003. Hopefully, hopefully you can see that without the shadow. Try not to get the shadow. Well, trust me, it's 2003. So I grabbed the, you know, I grabbed that, hey there. I sold one stamp, because I had my rubber stamps for like $2 a piece. I sold one, and then I turned around and gave the two bucks to her. <laughs> so then a little later, she goes to me, and she's, oh my God, that's not good English. <laughs> later on, she said to me, you know, you could pick whatever you want. So I went rummaging, and I got this, one of the things I got was the um, Glossomere Fiber Effects by U.S. Art Quest, and I think this is like, the, this is the angel hair, you know, you heat set it, and then, you know, stamp and stuff. So this is... This is the Wisteria. A different area in my house. So, and then I grabbed this. This is a cut and dry. We all know what that does. And I'm surprised nobody grabbed that. Of course, when I was looking, it was kind of early. I got this paper. I think it's collage. I don't know who makes it. Um, I don't want to mess with that. If I open it, I'll put the link. The put a thing in the video. This is a collage collage collection by Art Accents. Vintage ads. doesn't say a year. So I know it's like probably early 2000, probably 2003 or something. And I picked up these craft paints that she had. These are the only two, these are the two she had there. This one's magenta and it's by Crafters Edition. And it's magenta. 
And this one's Delta Cream Coat, and this is the Green Tea. And I got these dress up buttons. Peace and love. I had to get those. Get to that. And this dress form, paper mache dress form. I guess these were more stampers than anything, because they weren't picking up like the mixed media stuff. I'll save this one for later. And I picked this up. This is vintage Tim Holtz. This is by uh, Drunkets. These are his metal photo anchors. Like, I grabbed. I didn't see them at first, and then later on, I think we were packing up, or maybe a little bit before, I saw those and I grabbed them. And then for stamps, I got this stamp. This is by Rubber Baby. Yeah, Rubber Baby Buggy Bumpers. I got this one. It's by Bugawump. And this is by Judykins. It's uh, called Early Digital. It's got that one and the binary numbers. This one, like a computer chip. Another one, I think, that's like oh, from Motherboard. A cube stamp, and this is from Viva Las Vegas Stamps. Postoid. And this is Madonna and Child. <laughs> I love that one. I thought this was by Viva Las Vegas Stamps. But when I came home looking at these, this is by Un Uneed Stamp Company. U N E E D A. Stamp Company. And then I got this one. This is by Stampington. Stampington and Company. This is a large Raphael. And I saw somebody else in another table had, I think they had one like this, but this is a smaller one. And then the table in front of us had stuff and the woman's mother was helping her, wanted uh, one of my grab envelopes of paper. So we did a swap. She got one of them, so I was selling like a dollar an envelope full of like different papers and stuff. So I got these two stamps to total a dollar. I'm not sure who this is by because I think this is an amounted, you know, it was a mounted stamp, stamped on, um, no. Stamp. <laughs> and the mounted stamp mounted on a wood block. And this is a remote control, and I think this is by Darcy. Oopsie. Hold on. That's by that one. And then later, she went, uh, she, um, not the mother, but the one that was selling her stuff. She wanted one of my other, my stamps, so we did another swap for this one. Well, she was tagging up because it was, like, really hot. So, they were leaving, getting ready to leave, packing up to leave, and I was looking through her bags, trying to figure out what stamp I want. So I picked that one. And then when we were packing up to go, I had my eye on this bag, and nobody picked it up. It was, like, a whole bunch of... The, whole bunch of these tins and they, she wanted a dollar for all, you know, for all of them. But these are two different types of tins. This one slides. These were from, like, the, these were from the sweet factory. And then... I think there were, like, seven of those. Four ones. And then six of these. Metal, like they're like the ma like what band aids come in. So I picked up that, and then we had to pick up something for our friend that was at the flea market, and we picked it up, and we called her, and she wanted to meet at archivers. So of course we went in. Besides being nice and cool in there, 
she gave our friend our friend gave us a coupon for there and I was looking around and this is what I picked up the basic gray out of print and these probably all seen this paper. Yeah, I'm a six by six. I was looking for this everywhere in the store for for this pad. And and I was also looking for like um October afternoon. And they had that. But I was good and only got this. I love October afternoon stuff. You know me and retro you know, retro vintage. <laughs> So that's my haul, and um, thanks for watching.